Mike, well, it's, it's been a pleasure playing with you for the Thank past you, hour or two. Thank you. It sounded great. It sounded Appreciate on that bass. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, you've been using this for about, what, a couple of weeks? Yeah, at weeks? least at least a couple of weeks. So if you could tell us about your experience. My experience with it is it's a really cool P bass, mm -hmm. but with the added plus of having the preamp in it. Yeah. Um, I like that it's 21 frets and that there's a cutaway here. So you really do get a combination of old and new. Um, the, obviously the fit and finish is awesome. Sure. I really like the hip shot bridge, very useful hip shot machines. Um, very playable, very balanced. Right. Uh, I like the, you know, like any good instrument, I can get a very even balanced tone across the bass. So. With Dave's drums ringing in the background, so it's, it plays. It has. It's a good hybrid, even though it's only got the P pickup. The neck is a nice in between sure. precision bass it's and got jazz a nice bass. Slap sound to it it too, does. Yeah, I, li I like the slap tone a lot. Uh, uh, you know that kind of a yeah, thing. Totally. So it's a real uh, that that's happening as well. Notice you uh, boom, bump, bump the preamp. Yeah, I had I had the mids the mids bumped a little bit. This is okay. this is flat, but I kind of like just giving it a little bit in there with the, with the four hundred hertz. Sounds good to me. Because people think when you think of a P bass, they just think of just Motown or funk and all that, right? Rock and roll, which is good, but it's with the right with the right preamp, you can make it. I I pretty much when I play live, I play them almost all the time. I do have other basses, but I do use P sure. bass for so much of my work. So that's kind of what I was interested in. You know, the other thing is the the, the uh, block here has been, you know, beveled a little bit, so it's it's not quite as big as it would be on a Fender. And again, the cutaway up here is really useful. Right. Um, you know, so those those I think concessions to modern things are really good. Very cool. You know, and I see you use. Fewer pedals and everything. I've so had the green guy, the the, the mid boost control, the mid boost control yeah. for a while, and it's it's on all the time. So I'm really not using much of the preamp in the bass, just leaving it flat. Sure. And then there's something in the high mids I'll pull out most that I use most of the time, mm -hmm. and I really like that. And if I can step away for a minute, I like the uh, this guy too. The BB plus. The BB plus for yeah. distortion works really well. <laughs> really thick. Yeah, totally. uh, a little more booty on the bass, so. Really nails yeah, that. You can get a you know. Sound. It's really yeah. controlled. Even though I have a cool fuzz pedal that I like to use, sure. yeah. this is very controlled. Let me turn it back off so you get rid of the hiss. <laughs> so dig that as well. Yeah. And I don't need the RC booster because there's a preamp in this base, right. but that works great with all my passive fenders. I was using that. Mm -hmm. and really digging that too. Very cool. Yeah, so like, what have you been doing for the past? Few months, few years. Been, I know you've been teaching at the. At the yeah, I've MI. been full time uh, bass faculty there since 2002. Mm -hmm. um, but I play, you know, all kinds of gigs and sessions yeah. around LA. I play in two bands, cover bands that I really like playing with, The Lovelies. Love that band. Which is a great, I really yeah. am proud to be in that great rock and roll band. And, and uh, also a old school RB funk band called The Deep Cuts. Mm -hmm. And both of those play once, twice a month. Right. And so they're really good outlets, a lot of good people in them. So those are just for the pleasure of doing it, yeah, you know. The lovelies you play at Fox and Hounds. Usually, right? but yeah. we just played a, we played a place in uh, Westlake right. called Bogies, which was awesome, okay. big stage. So the deep cuts you play at uh, the one in Burbank. Mostly at, at Joe's uh, Great American. Yeah. You know, it's a long title. Joe's yeah. in Burbank on, on Magnolia. Yeah. yeah, and Burbank. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Uh, is there any way we could get in contact with you? Facebook. You, you can find me on Facebook for sure. Okay. Um, my name uh, at mac.com, Michael Manel at mac.com. If you wanted to reach me there. Okay. Uh, but I'm on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way. Cool. So, good. well, it's been a pleasure. Like I said, been playing with you, man. So I, I appreciate the opportunity. Great. Thank you very much, Absolutely. Kenny. Absolutely. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Exotic. Thank you.